maroon government. Hey, hey, seven, seven. What a moment uh, when you think about the maroon. The chief of their compound. Hey, when you think the conference not nice at Jamaica, what a bangaran. Hey, you know, say, you, the, say after me, the writings is on the wall. Say after me, Jamaica. Lord, look at me here, nice and pretty. The writing is on the wall. Listen to Chief Richard Curry's statement today. Say after me, the writing is on the wall for the Jamaica Labour Party. Listen to the chief of the Akompong message today. Hey, what a joke. <laughs> Where 
you expect me to do? If you listen to that message and listen to the message carefully, the Akompong chief says, for three and a half years, he has tried to engage the present government. Three and a half years. The present government showed him cold shoulder. So what do you expect him to do? What do you expect him to do? And if that wasn't enough, I believe the message I believe Jamaica the message of the Maroons and Vibes Cartel today was a bombshell one. Look at Cartel, the Maroons, and my brother and confidant, Isaac Buchanan, today, and tell me now. I'm going to say something. I observe today some some folks in the PNP who were furious. by Vibes Cartel being on the stage. I'm going to say to you, I think I need to say it because I'm not a hypocrite. You see, you miss a man where me observe it. Me not go call your name, but people who did, they will know who me attack. You. That. <laughs> yes, you. You. Mm -hmm. I've never been a fan of you, but. I don't think if you. If you understand politics, you must understand how units work. How units work. 
You must understand that alliances need to be formed for a greater good. Nobody like you politically, you know. Politically, you wounded and damaged, you know. So you should be glad when other units come together to create a force, or you would call it the comet. A lot of people don't like you. And the way in which I see you operate backstage to them, I said to myself, say, Now I understand why a lot of people say you is one of the primary reasons why them not really work with Mr. Golding, you know. You, that you, Mr. Man, you know yourself. You know yourself. And now I call your name over here, but me I go say this to you. You see, if you continue upon the pathway, you depend. Me I go say this, a lot of people don't know. And me say the labor right them start Run with the narrative, say, PNP, a arbor peer criminal. Show me a political party. Show me one political party, Jamaica, that you don't have different minds. Show me a political party when you look upon it, you say, boy, is a philosophy, is an ideology, you know. It's a common cause, you know. So you might not love the Gaza man, and you might not love Bojo, and you might not love the Akompong because in your mind it take away the moment. It's not take away, take away the moment. I'm going to tell you, Mr. Man, seeing that you say you're in charge of certain things, and seeing that you are on the show, Mr. Man, you should have known how to plan it properly. So everybody, you know what you should have do, Mr. Man? Yes, you. Yes, you. You know what you should have do? Go look on the DNC conference. And look, oh, they make sure, say, nobody took away Kamala Harris reign. If you realize, then make sure there were different staggering moments in the DNC conference. So it always keep that euphoric pattern and moment going. So if you did a study, you would have known, say, if you did do it a particular way, but no, you're not think. But me, I'm going to say to you, Mr. Man, if Vibes Cartel walk Jamaica one time, if Chief Curry walk Jamaica another time and then one day a Moran pint and one day a Negril pint. Mm -hmm. You, Mr. Man, you, you, me not call your name over here. That's me say me not give you no relevance. You know yourself. And I go and say to you, there is something you must remember. All politics is local. All politics is local. And when I see me say to myself, say, you know, people it it today sent a signal that one inevitable a lot of people believe in vibes cartel's music and he's an influence on many young people equally the maroon chiefs has significant influence in his community and then there is the pnp people so if there is an amalgamation, do you understand the political tsunami that mm, do you understand the political tsunami that can send? Equally, L.A. Lewis has his crowd too.
So when I saw it today, I said to myself, say, it's not a bad look, but it could have been narrated better. A story, a beautiful story could be told today. But rather than me some man use the time to create and narrate the story, it was so rushed. It was to the point of almost chaos. Like, just let us do this thing and get it out of the way. No, it was a moment in history that should have been curated properly, Jamaica. It is a moment in history that you had an amalgamation of power. You had an amalgamation of people. So it should have been curated properly so people could see and understand the message. And nobody don't tell me to change the subject. Don't tell me to change the subject. It was so rushed and it could have been a beautiful moment. But as I said to you, Jamaica, it had an impact, but it could have had a greater impact if it was curated properly argument done. You hear what I say? It had an impact, but had it been curated, had it been narrated the proper way, it would have created a tsunami that would have done hmm And somebody say, it was a master stroke indeed. And he, <laughs> it was a master stroke, Jamaica. But as I said to you, as a political strategist and where I sit and where I do, I observe many things and people will call me and say to me, Andre, what is your purse? It could have been curated in a beautiful storyline. Sister, it is not about being perfect, but you must aim for perfection. Aim for perfection, Jamaica. I have watched you. you there are pe Jamaica people. If you understand politics, just appreciate my interpretation. No? Some of you are so orange to the point that you cannot even appreciate when a good, constructive, objective analysis is, is pre presented. Just to appreciate and saying it's beautiful. It was an exceptional attempt. But it was almost chaotic as though it was. Oh, it just jumped on me. Not, it just jumped on Oh, Oh, no. It, it never mesmerized. This thing. Jamaica people, if I am creating an alliance, if I am doing something, it must have the greatest impact of the moment. Just listen to me now, Jamaica, and see. Because if that was done, people, today, it shouldn't be a conversation. For a nine day. It should be a conversation that is written down. In our political. Modern political history. That can be used to say. Mark Golding. Mark Jefferson Golding. United Jamaica. Something that was not done. From our political independence of 1962. I don't think a lot of people remember. There is a discussion about Jamaica being very unsettled. So if there is a discussion about an unsettled Jamaica, the moment today was a great signaling 
a great positioning. But for those who understand, understand. For those who understand, understand. For those who don't, just let it be at that. Hello, good night. Good, good night, Andre. Good night. Good yes, night. Mr. Marsh. Mm -hmm. Me not stay long because me now want to break your trend. Mm -hmm. you, see, you see, if Mr. Man did ever make it be known to everybody survive because they would be there, mm -hmm. they would not know what to hold anybody. Mm -hmm. but, who wants to say what them wants to say? Mm -hmm. Vice Cartel is a free man, he's innocent, the court of the land set him free. So make people say they want to. But mm -hmm. listen to this now. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. May I watch Rising Star and may I watch you. You know who are one of the guests judged by Rising Star? Yes. Right now? Mm -hmm. Vice Cartel. Yeah, man. Make them cost TVJ. Mm -hmm. Uh, me have to tell, we can't talk about the conference on next day. Mm. Who want to talk now? Make them go chuck off. All right, Miss Emma. <laughs> All right, my papa. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then Popcorn did there the conference. Small and Samuels did there the conference. It was really a good moment in the history. I am say, you know, so this is a signaling. But you see, Jamaica. Hmm. You see, how I, I am glad it happened the way it happened. And it is beautifully coming together. You remember when Jerry said, it shall come together? Only remember, beautifully it is coming together, Jamaica. Beautifully it is coming together. And I can say to Pharaoh, you know. And I can say to Alibaba and the 40 plus, you know. This moment in history, this moment in history, you, mm, you, Mr. Man, I know tonight you can't sleep and tonight you'll be playing chess to know how you can counteract the king and the queen on the board, you know. But I can tell you, Mr. Man, you, hey, you could appear 10 and 20,000. <laughs> the, the beautiful orchestra coming together. We get the performer, we get the bass, we get the drum. We need some violinists now. We need a, we have, you don't understand? Mm, we need a conductor, we need every little thing to come because we shall get you out. And you know, I want to say this to you. Mark wasn't bad today. Wasn't the greatest, but wasn't bad today. And I am sure that over the next few weeks to months, I expect him to even be greater with these amalgamation. Mm -hmm. Listen to Mark today, Jamaica, and I'm saying yes. Yes, Captain. This sound like a captain that I can work with. Mm -hmm. Sound like a captain. Listen to Marky e. G today. Listen we to believe him. education must not be a burden of debt, but a bridge to a better future. We will make student loans more borrower friendly. Graduates will only begin to repay their student loans once they are employed and their monthly payments will be capped at an affordable percentage of their monthly income. And in, if there are times when they are between jobs or they're out of work, payments on their student loans will be deferred and tacked onto the back end of the loan period without penalties. This will remove the fear and reluctance among young people to borrow to invest in their education. And it will free up young professionals to build their careers. Sound good, don't it? 
he spoke about the student loan today and what he would be doing additionally with the student loan. And I was saying that discussion should resonate with the thousands of Jamaican students who are paying student loan. He also spoke about the Porsche initiative. He spoke about the Porsche initiative. And when I heard him speaking about the Porsche initiative, I said to myself, I actually love the Porsche initiative. The Porsche initiative is land and housing. The Porsche initiative, Jamaica, is land and housing. And when I saw her, when I heard that, I said to myself, Portia Initiative, what a good way to remember the legacy of our first female prime minister. The man talk about reforming back, putting back the housing trust into the hands of poor working class Jamaican. And when I heard that, I said, that sounds like, he spoke about the land being given to people in this country. And you know what I, I said to myself, Dayton Campbell also spoke about the arable lands that he plans to distribute to the farmers. And I said, these are things that needs to resonate. I want to hear it coming more from the mouth and the bowel of the PNP. The man said, even, um, he talked about the teachers. Like, he said something like, the teachers, them, the more them stay in our education is the more the student loan will be paid off, I think, by the government. I'm going to say, you know, this is so impressive. This was so impressive to hear the perspective of Mark Jefferson Golding from that. I'm going to say, you know, that don't sound bad. In a song by Jamaica, it was a beautiful, like I'm saying, but you know what was something that a lot of people, all me say, Mr. Golding, you had some beautiful points. Marky G, me go talk to you private. If you will listen to me, Mr. G, I have a few suggestions for you, Mr. G. Nothing bad, but out of, you know what I give him the grade? Who want me grade? No, I never go grade your public. But Mr. G, for the content in your speech, it was very solid. The content in your speech was very solid. You hear what I said, Jamaica? The content in his speech was very solid. But... I personally will send an email to Mr. Golding and highlight that, 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 and hopefully he will take it with a, you know, with a good, because sometimes, yeah, man, I go and keep it private and I will say what I want to say, but the House and Land Porsche Initiative, what you want to do for student loan, the impeachment discussion were solid discussion. All right, Jamaica, solid, solid. And as I said, <laughs> as I said, Jamaica, me really impressed by, but you know, I don't think a lot of persons saw this. This was a high point for me for the PNP conference. Mark Golding, son, talking, listen to this of the People's National Party, Mark Golding, delivered what could be his last address before... Just a moment, Jamaica. His son's contribution to the conference was beautifully narrated. Beautifully narrated. Beautiful, beautiful. I 
Uh, just play that one in the interim that you just played and we'll come back to it. End of the People's National Party, Mark Golding, delivered what could be his last address before Jamaicans head to the polls. It is up to all of us now. Walk every hill and valley, every nook and cranny, every street and lane. Bring in the 99 and then go for the missing one. But before the explosive closing, Mr. Golding outlined a series of policies that his administration plans to implement if they form the next government. Delayed loan repayment for borrowers of student loans is among them. Currently, borrowers' accounts are credited six months after completing their degree. Graduates will only begin to repay their student loans once they are employed, and their monthly payments will be capped at an affordable percentage of their monthly income. And in, if there are times when they are between jobs, or they're out of work, payments on their student loans will be deferred. A student loan forgiveness program for teachers seemingly got the audience rallied up. What we have in mind is that one year of payments on their student loan will be forgiven for every year that they remain employed in the public education system. State-of-the-art vocational labs at all high schools to equip students with technical skills that is also open to the public is also a part of the plan. Prime Minister Andrew Holness in his budget presentation said the shortage of skilled labor is a national emergency. And from shortage of skilled labor to training specialized professionals who fix down machines in the public health sector. Mr. Golding says the PNP will reform the procurement process and inventory management so Healthcare workers can save lives. Crime was another big talking point. Mr. Golding says the PNP plans to bring back a community based approach to safety and security. We will ensure that the needs of our most vulnerable citizens, children, elderly, and infirm Jamaicans, are responded to by the state. The PNP says its next administration will also address the housing crisis, a program for orderly renewal and a transformation of infrastructure in all areas. Portia, named after former Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller, was also announced. This program will drive policies that Sister P stood for, improving infrastructure in old housing schemes, tearing down zinc fences in communities and replacing them with proper concrete walls. But even as the party leader drummed up support for the policies, he didn't quite see how the PNP will fund all of this. A confident Mark Golding, however, urged the Prime Minister to announce a general election date constitutionally due by September 2025. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News. Mr. Mark, 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 him say call it, call it. And there was a, there was a continuous and repetitive talk from the people saying call it, call it, call it. And I am saying if Andrew Holness really equipped and ready, he should remember we, I think the Prime Minister should call the election. And I think he should call it. <laughs> Politically, Jamaica, they are not even half to pay for a general election. And I, 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 I appreciate Mark Golding's ideologies on fixing crime. He spoke about a lot of social intervention, community initiatives, and I'm saying this is what Jamaica real needs, real and true community renewal. We don't need state of emergencies, you know. We need to reach the young people before they reach the gangsters. We need to reach the young people before they reach the gangsters. We need to reach the young girls before they, they become night nurses for the community dance. Do you ag agree, Jamaica? We need to set up back the infrastructure needed, necessary for community renewal. Community centers, the youth club, the marching bands. 
all of those things, the entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial programs, the, 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 um, the ICT development, the creative industries, build back, set up some studios for the young men in the community so them can go record. Teach them digital, digital media creation. Do you understand? Teach them, make the communities, them can have digital media competitions, digital media, um, digital content creation, all of these things. Young people can do that. You hear this someone about OAP program. What the OAP program doing? The OAP program not going into communities. We're talking about going into the communities, darling. Meeting the people, knowing them. The police know the mother. The police know the father. The police know the granny. True community interventions and developments. But then truth and in fact, what I wanted to hear more from the opposition were on the bread and butter issues. Stay tuned for more PDTV news, evening highlights. Thank you for watching.